book map what if i told you there was a different way to see where the buyers where the sellers were where the overall liquidity is when you're trading well book map paints a different picture today we're going to talk about how i made almost four thousand dollars three thousand nine hundred and eighty seven dollars to be exact in the top step account i'm going to show you guys basically how i use bookmap every day on the live stream we do it live but i'm going to break down what you're seeing when i'm looking at bookmap and we're going to talk about how i use bookmap to profit in this volatile market let's break it down yeah What's going on guys, Patrick here. Today we're gonna to be talking about book map and the idea of what book map is, how it works, what I'm looking at, how I use book map to profit. And I'm gonna show you kind of the overall platform and we're gonna talk about, you know, really what book map is for. You know, the idea of being able to see where the buyers, where the sellers are, where the overall liquidity is in the market. Pulling up the book map platform, you can see, you know, right off the bat, what do we got? We have kind of this overall painting and we can see like the darker orange and greens down here and reds. What that is showing is that's where there's more buyers, more liquidity. And when I say liquidity, that can be, you know, shorts trying to get covered. Overall, those are orders on the book. This is data that's coming directly from the exchange itself. So we're getting the most raw data directly from the exchange. I'm using rhythmic data, which also is going to show me where stop losses are as well in terms of if those stops get taken out. And you can see like just there, we had a big push up, that 44 showing up, that's a stop loss basically. Those stop loss orders ended up getting triggered and then the order ended up going live. But the thing is, we don't know for sure, is that a short getting covered? Is that a buy order, like a buy limit order? All we know is that it was a stop order. We don't know for sure if it's a limit order or a market order, vice versa. But we do know that that order was triggered. Right away, you can see we have these orbs on the chart, basically these little planets. These little planets are basically showing us where that volume is when we're moving, when the market's moving. If I zoom out here, you can see we have these bigger orbs. These bigger orbs, they're showing us kind of where there's big areas of volume, where the action is in terms of the price moving up and down. The thing about book map, I like to explain it like this. If you zoom all the way out here, you can kind of see, okay, the market has been moving around these different areas and it's painting this picture. It looks confusing, right? It might look confusing right now. The nice thing about book map is you can customize this. You can get rid of those orbs. You can make them bigger. You can make them smaller just by using that little bar up the top there. So normally I like to keep them like right around there. And that's just giving me information. When I see that there's a lot of green planets a lot of green planets popping up on book map i'm like okay you know that's looking good there's volume we're getting through levels the way that the market moves is very simple right the market is moving in a wave it's never just straight up never straight down now sometimes it seems like it's going straight up maybe it seems like it's going straight down but really if you zoom out and you look at the bigger picture bigger time frames the overall market is moving in a wave right it's going up it's going down it's going up it's going down and it's basically searching for liquidity it's searching for buyers it's searching for sellers the market is moving through these areas of liquidity you know we moved down to an area where there's liquidity there's buyers sitting there and we kind of bounced off that there's not enough sellers not enough pressure to get through that liquidity so what happens then we start to push back up to that area above it we push to that next area of liquidity you can see this is actually a perfect example we had this area that hot area a lot of red that's showing us that there's a lot of orders. There's a lot of liquidity. When I say liquidity, again, I'm basically saying that's where the orders on the book are sitting. There's a lot of orders sitting at that 96 level. And you can see the market kind of just, you know, a little dip down, but not getting down there a little, little bit and then pushing back up. So we can't break through that area of liquidity. So what happens? Guess what? The market then starts to push up. What's interesting is if you look, we had this area of liquidity above us at that 902 area. Hey, if you guys enjoy these videos, do me one big favor, hit that like button. Also, if you wanna learn more about Bookmap, you wanna sign up, do me another big favor. There's a link down below to learn more about Bookmap, to sign up, it's $39 a month for the Global Plus, and that's what I have, and that's everything that you're seeing here in this video. So learn more, link down below, and again, hit that subscribe button, tune in 9.30 a.m. Eastern. You'll see me using the book map live right here on YouTube. And bang, we got through it, kind of taking out some of that liquidity, and then we had this big spike in volume. We had a 534, 
um, shares like traded we can zoom in we can actually see like the individual orders kind of coming through there but we can see that was a big area of liquidity getting taken out those sweep orders people basically saying hey i don't care what the price is i will buy the ask i will push this market higher it's showing that the bulls are in control we can see the volume spike there at the bottom as well so once we push back up through that area of liquidity well guess what now we're going to start to kind of move up to that next area of liquidity. If you go over here and you look at the chart, it's a different picture, right? You don't get all that information on the chart. You basically get candlesticks, but you don't know for sure like, wow, like where really has all of the action been? Where is the liquidity? Where are the buyers? Where are the sellers at? We can see kind of all those hot areas. We see that, okay, like up here at the 920s, we had a lot of liquidity we had a lot of liquidity there at the 910s we then moved down we got through that area of liquidity we moved all the way down here that 95 area showing us you know pretty hot down there if we kind of like take away all this we can see like those pockets of liquidity this is where the buyers are sitting and again we don't know for sure like oh are these shorts that are trying to cover their positions are they longs you know we don't know for sure exactly but we know that there's action there there's liquidity right there's people trying to make a trade at that level and right now as you can see we're trying to push back up and as we're pushing back up well guess what you can see that liquidity is now following it back up so now that's basically saying that you know hey there's buyers that are trying to get in on this action they want to get in on this move up and they're starting to kind of follow the price back up but we are now running into that 907 area that 907 area showing that there is liquidity sitting there at that 907 906 area right now and we're kind of like trying to get through it we're trying to push okay we just pushed right through there so we ate through that 906 area now we got resistance there at the 910s the market's pushing higher bang we're starting to make a move up here if we start to add the bubbles back on there let's start adding these bubbles back we can see there was a spike in volume there we had some more spike in volume now we're still battling that area if we go and we look at the candlesticks we can see that we bounced off that 94 level we pushed up there to 910s that was illustrated on the book map so that was shown on the book map showing us there was liquidity at that 94 level kind of almost like a double bottom and now we're starting to push up but again look we're having trouble we're having trouble at that 910s why are we having trouble there well we saw that there was a big seller kind of sitting at that 910 level and again if you go over here to the book map look at that we had a big spike in volume we sold down and now we're starting to move back down off of that 910 level so you can see the markets kind of you know sellers are getting aggressive but we have this support i would say 905 right now so for me what i'm really looking for if i'm in a trade like right now let's say i want to get long okay i'm like i want to make sure this buyers these buyers of this 905 area they keep you know holding up there they keep kind of moving up with the move and we want to see that market kind of trying to push back up we can see that there's you know they're starting to add a little bit of liquidity to the upside but there's not a ton of liquidity to the upside so pretty much there's no reason for me to short right now like i should not be getting short at this level until we would break below here you know lose that liquidity at the 906s and then i want to see you know sellers stacking up to the upside we can see okay we got emas but we don't really know like hey how many buyers are sitting below this level like are there a lot of buyers sitting below 910 you know are people willing to kind of move up with the price here trying to push this higher or you know like what's going on all i see is a candlestick i have no idea really kind of what's going on in terms of liquidity wise now that 905 level there's a reason we're kind of holding here right now because there's a lot of liquidity sitting at that 905 level again you know we don't know for sure if the shorts are just trying to bait the longs here but we do know that there's a lot of you know liquidity right here so that kind of just tells me like hey there's really no point in doing much until we kind of get a move out of this area again like my strategy for book map is to kind of zoom out look at the bigger picture right now like i know that we had a lot of liquidity kind of changing hands down there at the 90s so if we get this to sell through i'm thinking that there's a lot of buyers that kind of bought that move up if we look kind of next big area of liquidity where we traded today you would say like the 925 920 level and if you look at the map right now we have a little bit of liquidity there at the 20s you know at the end of the day we don't know for sure exactly if the market's gonna go up if they go down but what we're looking for is an edge like i want to see like if i believe the market's gonna go up i'm like okay if it's gonna go up like where would be a good target if this thing wants to move higher where would i be looking for this to move higher right so i'm looking for areas of liquidity the same idea like i said earlier that the market kind of moves like a magnet almost when there's a big area of liquidity again you can see the buyers kind of sitting down there at the 05s 06s so we're really just like at that level that it could go either way you know looking at the chart right now like if i apply this to the chart i'm thinking 
that this is going to kind of maybe push up to the VWAP area, 23s at the VWAP. And that would pretty much be like right where that liquidity is as well. So kind of plays out. It gives you like the more that these things kind of line up, when you see different levels lining up in terms of like where the VWAP is or where the liquidity is based on the book map, it kind of gives you just a little bit more of an advantage. Instead of only having a candlestick chart, I can kind of look at that heat map and be like, look, you know, wow, we had that big volume, a lot of volume coming in there. So, you know, this is telling me like, hey, the buyers are trying to push this up. All that liquidity was at the tens. Now it's at the twelves. There we go, getting the breakout. Look at this move, almost to the twenties, just like I said. And look at that. Now the buyers are stepping up, trying to hold that level, and bang, all the way up there to twenties. So that would have been a beautiful move. And we saw it happen right there on the book map. We saw what was going on with the overall buyers and sellers. So again, guys, this is a very big advantage to be able to see, you know, where those buyers and sellers are, where the volume is, where it's all being traded, where it's all happening. That was the move we were kind of looking for. You know, if I was looking for a long, like I said, that would have been it. We got bang, 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 spike. And what's funny is look, we went to 20 and we pulled back. You know, it's not a coincidence. Like look now at this. Look what's happening. We're getting stacking up. Sellers again, stacking up there, the 20s. So we pushed up, we pulled back, and then the battle is still happening. So there it is, book map, kind of giving you guys an idea of how I'm using it. We'll do some more videos soon talking about like really dialing it in, you know, all the different features. But I just want to give you guys an idea, like this is what I'm looking at right now when I'm trading. And I do think there's a huge advantage to having this as a tool, you know, for $39 a month. Is it a huge, you know, investment? I don't think so. For for the information you're getting, for everything that you're seeing, you know, having just another tool, having another way to look at the market, I think it's a very valuable tool. So if you guys want to learn more, there's a link down below to check out Bookmap. Tune in 930 a.m. Eastern. You'll see me trading live on YouTube with the Bookmap, trading in the Top Step account and doing it all for you guys right here on the channel. So if you guys haven't already hit that subscribe button, you know what to do. I'll talk to you guys later on. Yeah.